thought I'd show you how to create a watermark using Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, the version I'm using is Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 8.0, but I know this method also works in 7.0 because I had that one too, and it works in pretty much any Sony Vegas Movie Studio to my knowledge. Now, this is going to help you put a watermark on one of your videos and actually this watermark, I kind of call it the idiot watermark because anybody can do it and I mean anybody. It's really easy even if you don't usually like working with software or watermarks. So what you're going to start with is you're just going to open your video file and make sure the video track is in the video track here and the voice part is in the voice track or the music, whichever you want. Um, now up here on the left hand side is this track that says text. That's where we're going to be putting our watermark text. All you have to do is right click in this area, the track, insert text media. Now this is pretty big text. You can see it kind of showing up here, a little bit of it. It's in white right now. We can change that later. I'm going to just say, we'll change the font size. I usually use about 24, like here. Oops. Say here is my watermark.com. This is a great way to drive traffic to your site using a watermark. That's really easy. You can change the fonts. I usually just use Arial, but you can use something else too. Now placement. You probably don't want it right in the middle of your video. You can see that when you change the height up here, it changes in the preview, so you can see exactly where you're, it's located. I'm going to probably keep it right about there properties. Okay, now the background color. Let's talk about the background color. Right now it is transparent, meaning there's a clear background with the text. If you started to change that, look at what it does to the preview. It makes it dark. Or if you tried to make it green, it makes it green. Okay, I don't usually like to do that. I usually like to leave it completely transparent. Now the text color you could change. See, I like to make it this blue color. That's kind of cool. Uh, you can add effects to it. You can draw an outline. You can see that's kind of thick. You can resize the width so it's more of a glow and less of an outline. And you can redo the feather too so, it, so that you can see the text a little better. See, that's probably good right there. You can shear it differently. Kind of tip it. Make it a little more graphically friendly. But if you want everybody to read it, I would suggest keeping it at the the not enable deformation, just uncheck that little box. So you can see that we have this little section of text. Now it only lasts about five seconds by default. So if you want it to span your entire video, all you have to do is drag, left click and drag, all the way to the end of each side of the video. And you can see when it turns blue right there that it's snapping to the exact end so you don't go over or under. And then when you play the preview, like right here, it'll start moving but this will stay the same. So that's it, and that is your watermark. That's all you need, pretty much, especially if you're only going to throw it on a YouTube video. Um, if you want to save it, just click File, Save, or Save As. And if you want to render it into YouTube form, just click Render As, and it'll bring up a dialog box. Well, that's it for that today. Thanks for watching.